And I had to stop for a moment to uh, get some extra cleaning supplies to work on the rest of the kitchen. In this portion of working on the kitchen, I'm going to show you how to use this. This is dish soap. Instead of working with the Clorox wipes, we're going to use the dish soap for the rest of it. Now, the thing to remember with the dish soap is that you got to fill the sink with dishes and you got to rinse the stuff off. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, before using the the, this sink to rinse those off. We're going to clean out the sink with these again. Now, remember, sometimes these things kind of get collected, as in it gets built up really bad, so you got to wipe it out. So, here's what we're going to do you got to remember that you got to squeeze this, squeeze all this out. You know, not the, not the wipes, but you got to squeeze out the buildup into the drain. So I'm going to show you up close how to do that. What you're looking at here is really disgusting. So as I was talking to you about before, when uh, before you start rinsing out the dishes before putting them in the dishwasher, you have to clean this up because if you don't have this cleaned out, how are you actually going to be able to use it and actually rinse off the dishes you need to rinse off. Now the thing to remember is you gotta do this stuff thoroughly. Otherwise, stuff's gonna stick there and you really don't want that. Now, some things you may not be able to get off. For that, you're gonna need a little extra help in the form of a sponge and dish soap. I would recommend trying to get as much as you can out of the Clorox wipes before moving on to the dish soap, because if you can get it done through the Clorox wipes as much as you can without having to do the dish soap, the better. So you may be wondering, well for those that you can't get out, how do you apply it? You know, that's a good question. And for that, I'm going to show you. First, we get out the sponges. I won't be showing you on this thing right now because I'm also trying to show you how to clean this up. So, you open up the sponge thing. You open up the sponge thing, get a sponge. You get your dish soap out. You also run your water into the sink. Okay. So this is a good way to start. Because it will also make sure that you are able to get all the other grimies out. And that can be pretty sickening. And you know, as you're scrubbing it out, remember that depending on what type of dish plug you have or have you can only be able to use one sink in relation to rinsing out your dishes this right here good way to rinse it out once you're done the scrubbing completely with the Clorox wipes Always remember to include, you know, make sure to put out the other portions. Right now, I'm showing you uh, a dish plug. You put one of these in when you're trying to fill one of the sinks up with water. So, first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to try and test to see which one of these will actually hold the water in. So, let's go with it. Since I'm also showing you this one as well. Keep in mind, always make sure that you clean these out. Because, like the sinks, these can fill up with, you know, disgusting stuff real quick. 
And that's why always, always, always scrub this thing. So, let's test it out. Alright. And actually, we have ourselves a winner. See, as you can tell, it's filling up with water. This one can also do the same, but it's been actually having troubles lately. So, we'll be using that one. Step, we're actually going to put some soap into the water here. The important thing is to make sure your water is warm when you're rinsing these out. Because it's really not effective if the water is cold. Warm water gives the ability for the dishes to soak. And now, since we got that established, and we're actually putting soapy water together for this to work, you then begin to put these into here. The important thing to remember is making sure that these actually fit. Never, ever overload the sink with the dishes. If you have to, make sure you do it one load at a time. I know that I'm rather guilty of doing that for a long time. So, we're going to try and do something different today. Maybe by doing something different myself, I can help you guys in the process. And that's kind of what I'm looking for anyway, just trying to help both of us. So, that's a big deal. And, uh, yeah, so that's how that's done. We're going to do that very well. Yeah, so, we got it good. So, always be careful how much you're putting in. Since, you need to make sure that you rinse everything. My rule of thumb is, always put in the smaller dishes first, then work on the larger dishes. It tends to help me a lot more. See? There you go. So, one of the key components of, you know, taking care of your dishes it's making sure you see whether or not your dishwasher is uh, filled with clean or dirty dishes. If it's filled with clean dishes, you got to put them away. If it's filled with dirty dishes, you got to run it. So, in this next portion, we're going to see whether or not they're clean or dirty. Well, I just checked the dishwasher, and as you can see, the majority of those dishes are clean. There may be some that you have to rewash or rinse out. And what you do in that regard is you take that particular dish and you put it into the sink of dishes that are soaking. If you're a guy like me who has trouble organizing dishes or finds a hard time putting things in a centralized place when cleaning your kitchen, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I do. And while I do that, I'm also going to show you, in that same breath, how I put away the dishes. What you see on this cabinet set of doors are labels that I created. Each individual label is how I organize the dishes so that I can find where I can get them if I wanted to make a food or something like that. You gotta run the thing, so you gotta put some soap on it. Not much, you, I don't know. And once you do that, you just kinda close the thing, move it up, turn this thing on, and then, 
that is a started dishwasher. For example, this is how I would label it. You may label it in a different way if you wish. Just figured that this would be an example of something that might be able to help. For example, you're putting stuff away. You see that Tupperware over there? You would put it into a cabinet that would be filled with Tupperware, like that. Right here is glasses. You take these glasses, something like this, then put it in a place that's labeled cups and glasses, which goes right over here. Before we get started rinsing the dishes, I'd like to point something out. This can actually build up on all kinds of biohazard related stuff. That's why running it through the dishwasher is a good thing. It's still a useful tool to scrub these out, don't get me wrong. I love using this. It's very easy for me to use and it's effective. But until then, we're going to use a different device. We're going to use one of these. Same thing, it's just a sponge. So I'm going to show you now what's the next step we're going to do. So, you got to go in, you got to scrub it all the way up. Got to make sure you get all of it. And always make sure you have soapy water in it as well. And if you make a mess on the floor, you got to mop it up. There's no way around it, you just got to do it. Tupperware collects the same thing, and it serves as kind of like a leftover item, you know, you cook food, you don't want it to go to waste, you put it in here. And sometimes at the end of the day, when you're, you know, struggling and you're having a hard time, you know, being able to purchase food or things like that, if you have leftovers from the day before, it kind of makes the difference between eating and not eating that day. And I, of course, am talking about if you're really poor and you're living in an apartment. Lids go in the same place, you know, just like that. And keep it in mind, we're also pointing here to the dishwasher. Now, well, some of the possible stuff that would happen if you don't, you know, clean this up. Well, you could get sick, and that kind of sucks, getting sick because you didn't clean your kitchen. Cross-contamination is a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about the swear word there. Just trying to make it simplified. If you do manage to rebroadcast this on a terrestrial medium, feel free to bleep that up. So, you're moving this all the way through, and you're trying to figure out, well, how do I get this done? Well, always remember, ladles, everything has built up. You gotta scrub the inner nooks and crannies. probably wondering, well, what do I get for this soap? 